Hello beautiful souls, welcome to my channel. A satisfied flower is one whose petals are about to fall. The most beautiful rose is one hardly more than a bud. Running the pangs and a characteristic of desire are working for a larger and finer growth. Not always shall you be what you are now. You are going forward towards something great. I am on the way with you and therefore I love you. Speak earth and bless me with water's rituals. Make sky flow honey out of my hips rituals, mountain spirit. Or a valley crowd out by the mouth of rain. And I knew when I entered her rivers, hurry, wind in her forest, color fingers whispering. Some honey flowed from the split cup impelled on the lands of tongues on the tips of her breast, and her novel, and my breath howling into rentences through lungs of pain. All thoughts, all passions, all delights, what words touch this mortal frame are all but ministers of love and feed his scared flame. Greedy as herring gulls are a child, a swing out over the youth over and over again. Oft in my waking dreams do I live over again that happy heart. When midway on the mount I lay beside the ruined tower. The moonshine stealing over the scene had blundered with the lights of you, and she was there, my hope, my joy, my own dear Jane. She leaned against the armed armed woman, the statue of the armed out night. She stood and listened to me lay amid the lingering night. Few sorrows had she of her own, my hope, my joy, my Jane. She loves me best when I sing the songs that make her hear. I played a soft and doleful air. I sang an old and moving story, an old root song that suited well the rain, wild and gory. She listened with a flitting blush, with downcast eyes and mother's grace, for well she knew I could not choose but gaze upon her face. I told her of the night that wore upon his shield a burning brand, and that for ten long years he worsed the lady of the land. I told her how he pained and are uh, the deep, the low, the pleading tone with which I sang another's love interpreting my own. She listened with a filting blush, with downcast eyes and modest grace, and she forgave me. That I gazed too fondly on her face, but when I told the cruel scorn that grace then bold and lovely night, and that he crossed the mountain roads, nor rested day nor night, that sometimes from the savage den, and sometimes from the darksome shard, and sometimes turning about once in green and sunny glade. There came and looked him in the face, an angel beautiful and bright, and that he knew it was a friend, this miserable night. And that unknowing what he did, he leaped amid a murderous brand, and safe from outrage, was that day the lady of the land. And how she wept and clapped his knees, and how she turned him in vain, and he was sure we expired the scorn that grazed his brain, and that she nursed him in a cave, and how his madness went away when on the yellow forest leaves a dying man he lay. His dying words, but when I reached that tender strain of all the ditty, my faltering voice and parsing harp disturbed her soul with pity. All impulses of soul and censors had trolled my guileless genial, the music and the doleful tale, the rich and balmy hue, and hopes and fears that kindle her up and undiscreet several throng, and gentle wishes long subdued, subdued and chores long. She wept with pity and delight, she blurs with love and virgin shame, and like the murmur of a dream. I hear her breathe my name. Her bosom heaved, 
She stepped aside as conscious of my look. She stepped. Then suddenly, with tomorrow's eye, she fled to me and wept. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe.